Okay, so I'm going to show you how to install SRS. So the first thing you want to do is find my post about Friday Night Flights. And right here we have SRS radio installation link. Uh, we click on it, it takes us right here. And we have two different downloads. We have the standalone 1.13, or this is the one that we have currently, and we have this auto updater. I personally recommend downloading the auto updater. And once you do, it'll give you this downloading the latest version, and then it brings up this pop-up menu. Of course, it'll ask you where do you want to install it. I recommend program files, it's fine. We'll leave everything else checked, uh, but we need to find the IL2 directory. So my IL2 directory is um, on my C drive, program files, 1C, great battles, and then here it is right here. And we hit OK, and then we can install or update SRS. Okay, and so we'll go ahead and click that, and we'll let it install. And when we're done, we'll have SRS that looks like this. All right, so there's a couple things I recommend you do. The first thing is, is we want to go to the settings menu. In the settings menu, we're going to go to radio switch works as push to talk, and we're going to enable that. All right, well, and I'll explain what this does in just a second. The next thing we want to do is change our first radio audio channel all the way to the left, and our second radio channel all the way to the right. So that's these two right here. See, I have it all the way to the right and all the way to the left. All right, so the next thing you want to do is we're going to go into controls. And in controls, we're going to say select radio, uh, select first radio, and we're going to bind a key to it. I personally bound my uh, throttles hat switch to, uh, to radio one. And select second radio, uh, right here, select second radio, I bound that to my hat switch as well. So this is the up hat switch and this is down on the hat switch. The next thing you need to bind is radio channel up and radio channel down. Now I bound these to the up arrow on my keyboard and the down arrow on my keyboard. And these are the only two, uh, I'm sorry, the only four bindings that you'll need, just these four. Then we can go to the general tab here. We wanna make sure that the microphone is the correct microphone uh, and our speakers are the correct speakers. Uh, we don't need to mess with this output pass-through unless you have some sort of pass-through, but you shouldn't. All right, so the next thing we want to do is we want to uh, get the correct SRS value. Now, you can you can get this by connecting to the server automatically. It'll happen automatically. So, um, Or you can just type it in, and I will give this uh, um, this uh, IP address on the description of the YouTube video. But it's srs.combatbox.net colon 7002. So this is the... This is the FNF one, and dot, uh, 6002 is the main server. So once you have that, you can click Connect, and when you do, you should hear a bling, just like we heard, and we'll get a green. You're connected to the server, and now you're connected to voice over IP, but we're not connected to IL2 because I don't have IL2 running. Um, and you can see here, when I click Toggle Overlay, that we have our nice overlay. Now how the overlay works here is we have our different channels, and the channel is not specific to the radio. So there's not a radio one channel two and a radio two channel two. It's just channel two. Um, so uh, in this top one out here is obviously our radios. We can go all the way to five. However, remember I told you to bind those keys to the up arrow and that's because uh, and the down arrow and you can see here I can go beyond channel five with my arrow key. Um, and then before I also told you that you wanted to bind select first radio to um, uh, to one of your uh, hat switches. And I also told you to set this radio switch push to talk as, uh, as on. And what that does is you'll see here, I, I have radio one selected, but I'm not lit up. But when I press the uh, push to talk button or I press the select first radio, it also enables my push to talk. And so you can see right now I'm lit up and I'm talking on channel six on radio one. Um, and then when I press select second radio and I hold that down, you can see now that I'm doing push to talk on channel two uh, of my second radio. And so um, that's what you want to have set. And, and what you'll do in Friday Night Flights is typically I'll have most of my pilots select radio one, channel one, 
and that's the leadership channel for both allies and axis. And then on radio two, they'll select their particular um, flights channel. And so when they talk on uh, just to their flight, they can just do this to their flight. And then when they talk, want to talk to the leaders and the rest of the leaders of all the other flights, they can just press the radio one button. All right, so hopefully this is helpful to you. If you have any questions about setting up SRS, by all means, hit me up on Discord. And um, thanks for watching.